Yo, what is going on? So this is not my normal setup. I normally have these lights over here against the wall, but I want it to be over here in order to do this. Now look at those highlights blooming all the way around me. If you haven't guessed yet, today we are talking about diffusion filters, particularly the moment cine bloom filters. Let's get into it. So the word cinematic may be one of the most overused words here on the tube, but let's face it, if you are on YouTube in this camera YouTube university, you are here to make your things look more cinematic or more like films, regardless of what it is that you shoot, you want it to look more filmic. And these Cinebloom diffusion filters is a secret weapon that can help you achieve that. So the question is, why would you want to use a diffusion filter in the first place? Well, in today's day and age, digital cameras are so good that the image comes out so sharp and so crisp, it actually might be a thing called too good. Particularly for people that are using hybrid cameras that were primarily meant to shoot stills and then on top of that using photography lenses. Photo lenses are looked to be particularly sharp to keep all the detail into an image. However, film, especially back in the day film, had a much softer look to it. This is why cinema cameras tend to have a much different look to it, almost a more softer, pleasing look, especially like in the highlights and stuff. And then cinema lenses as well also have a much different look, feel and characteristic than your photo lenses that most people are accustomed to using there. So a diffusion filter is gonna do two things to make your image look quote unquote more cinematic slash filmic. It's gonna take off that digital edge to make it just a little bit more pleasing. I wouldn't necessarily say softer, but it's gonna make it a little bit more smoother would be the words that I would choose there. And then the second thing is, is that it's gonna bloom the highlights a little bit more. So if you see this light that's right here, this light is blooming, the highlights are coming off. Let me take this back off for a quick second there. And you can see this is with the filter off. Let me put it back on. And you can see that things are blooming a lot more, especially if I turn this light back on here behind me and shining directly into the camera, you can see the highlights are blooming a lot more. That's called halation and most films will have it in a subtle look or even in a more dramatic way, depending on the strength and intensity that you use there. So aside from just me here, I do have a couple other examples of some things I've shot recently with the Moment Cinebloom. I've been using it extensively since I've had it. But this first example is from a recent video that I did with a friend of mine, Kimmy. We're doing actually a lighting tutorial about lighting and then I just quickly had her sit there. And you could see here, this is with the filter off, what it looks like. I'm using the Sigma 24 to 70 here, just trying to get a tight shot, a different angle. But the other thing when I say it makes the image look smoother, you could see it also helps to smooth out the skin as well. So skin tones will look great, as well as again, you could see there's just a little bit of halation. So I think it would be good for like an interview setup. It does give it a little bit more of a stylistic look as well. Second shot we have here is a shoot that I did. It was just a B-roll intro for another video that we did here with the Zeon Crane 2S and we're on the beach with my brother-in-law. But in this particular shot here, you could see it panning across in slow-mo and the sun, even though it's blown out behind him, you could see you're getting all kind of halation and spill behind him, giving it that filmic type look there. A really nice, really pleasing to the eye. In my opinion, it looks really nice there. Um, similar shots here, um, Kim, we we're out shooting something else here in Atlanta. And I just had Kimmy stop real quick. We did a couple on and off shots here with the filter. Um, Kevin was also shooting B-roll for me so you could kind of see what that looks like. But again, they were backlit. The sun is behind them, kind of giving you that backlit vibes. But you could see here again that you are getting a lot of halation and diffusion and spill from the light than you would normally get just shooting with your regular lens there. And then lastly, I did um, have a night scene. This was just a quick scene that I grabbed here with some neon lights here, but you could see the street lights are blooming a lot. The neon lights are blooming. If I show you the before and the after, you could see the potential here in what this Cinebloom filter will look like here. Oh, I forgot to say, disclaimer, Moment did send this filter over for me to check out. However, all the views in this video are 100% mine. They didn't even ask me to make a video. I'm just doing that because I actually used them for a long time and I think they're really dope. 
that being out the way, they do come in two separate strengths, 10% and 20%. I got the 10% and to be honest with you, this gives so much of a different type look and the halation and the softening of the skin and all that stuff. I think 10% is what I would recommend. If you want to get the 20%, I just think it would be for a really specific look and feel. I also wants to mention that I am stacking filters. So I'm using the Moment Cinebloom and then I also have the moment nd filter when i'm shooting outside and all the outside shots there i actually prefer that than some of the popular nd filters that have come out recently that have mist built into them the reason for that is when you saw the night shots i might not want to be using nd but i still want to use my diffusion filter stacking filters gives me the flexibility to do that rather than trying to use built-in nd with mist into it since I already brought up other filters, we'd also need to talk about the elephant in the room. Anytime there's a new diffusion filter, it gets compared to the Tiffin Black Pro Mist filters. This Cinebloom filter has a way different characteristic to it. I feel like Pro Mist maintains the contrast a little bit more, whereas this Moment Cinebloom gives more of a vintage look. It lifts the blacks a little bit more, it gives you more halation, and then on top of that, it does feel like it warms up the image just a bit more than the Pro Mist would do. Depending on when you're watching this, I will link a video up here of a comparison to the Cinebloom's versus the Black Pro Mist. But just knowing in my testing so far, the Cinebloom is just a different look than the Black Pro Mist. I feel like there's even room to keep both. So when we're talking about filters, obviously you primarily want to see what it does to the image and what it looks like. But I do want to talk about just the build quality. I've been really impressed with Moments filters. They feel really good in the hand and the knurling, AKA the grip on the outside of the filter feels so good. It's a lot easier to screw on and off on the filters. As far as packaging, it just comes in a cardboard box and then they actually improve the packaging over their ND filters. Now this has a, um, a nice quality plastic feeling case that it goes in and you can just flip it open and flip it back down when you need to close it a lot quicker, a lot faster. And then it comes with a little circular microfiber cloth just to wipe it down. So price is also very interested as well for this filter. Price-wise, it ranges anywhere from $49.99 up to $79.99 um, from going from the smallest at 49 millimeters all the way up to 82 millimeters. 82 millimeters is what I have, is what I recommend. I just buy the biggest filter that I could buy and then I use a step down ring to step down to all of my 67 millimeter lenses there. All right, so final thoughts, just wrapping up here. I've been really impressed with the Moment Cinebloom. It's their second filter type product that they've brought out here along with another circular polarizer that I haven't gotten a chance to try yet. But I think that it is very much worth the price. Actually, they may have priced it too well because it's almost always sold out. I would not be surprised if Moment raised the price on these just because the demand for them have been so high. As far as comparing it to the Tiffin Black Pro Mist filters, again, look out for that comparison. So you wanna go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the like button there if you've made it this far in the video. But I can tell you right now is I would still do both because it gives such a different look. I feel like the Cinebloom has a distinct characteristic to it that's so different from the Black Pro Mist filters that you typically see on most people's videos that it'd be worth having both and the Tiffin is priced aggressively enough where it doesn't hit the pocket that much for just a simple filter there. So 100% I would recommend getting it there just to give your videos a much distinct different look from everything else that's out there. Anyway, if you found this video helpful in any way, shape or form, please go ahead and drop it a like. It does help us create more content here on the platform. And if you want to check out the Moment Cineblooms, there will be links down below. Those are affiliate links that also helps me at no extra cost to you. Big up yourself. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.